In this video, we will solve four problems in engineering economics under the topic compound interest. So this is the problem number one. How much can a company lend to a developer who will repay the loan by selling six view lots at 9,500,000 pesos each two years from now? Assume the bank will lend at a nominal 14% per year compounded semi-annually. Okay. So, what is being asked here? So, how much money can a company lend to a developer? Now, the question here is, are we uh, going to solve for the present work or the uh, future work? So, since we are uh, talking about lending, so it's about having a present cost of money so we're asking or we're being asked to solve for the present cost we're in the uh, repayment the repayment of the loan is by selling six view lots at nine million five hundred thousand each and that will be two years from now so this uh, nine million five hundred thousand pesos worth of each lot is to be paid two years from now so that means that's the future amount that's the payment of the loan that will be a uh, uh, lent at present cost so future amount is six times 9.5 million so how much is the uh, repayment of the loan that will be six times 9.5 that will be 57 million pesos so the uh, repayment of the loan is 57 million pesos so how much will be the amount that a developer can borrow now so P, uh, let's use the formula future uh, worth of compound interest is equal to P and that will be a uh, so 1 plus I raised to N so that's the formula for future worth of uh, compound interest so future worth is 57 million equals P times 1 plus the uh, percent I is point, uh, 14 all over 2 because uh, it's compounded semi-annually. Then raised to the power of N, 2 years. So it will be paid in 2 years. But we will multiply it with 2 since it is compounded semi-annually. So what is now the value of P? Value of P now is equal to 57 million divided by 1 plus uh, 0.14 over 2 raised to the power of 4. So that will be 43 million. 43 million 485,027 027.09 So that's the uh, amount of money that a, develop, a developer can borrow now. So that's for problem number one. Let's go to problem number two. A small construction company is considering the purchase of a used bulldozer for 3.05 million pesos. If the company purchases the dozer now, the equivalent future amount in year 4 at, that the company is paying for the dozer at 4% per year interest is what? So, uh, what is being asked here? So the equivalent future amount. So, the equivalent 
future amount in four years that the company is paying for the uh, bulldozer. So the condition here is if, it says there, if the company purchases the bulldozer now. So imagine here the situation, the company is going to buy the bulldozer now. And what's the price of that bulldozer? That is 3.05 million pesos. That means that amount is a present uh, worth. So that is P equals 3.05 million pesos and uh, how many years that is n is equal to four years the interest rate is four percent per year so it's asking for the equivalent future amount so what will be the equivalent future amount in four years so let's use the formula f is equal to p 1 plus i raised to n. So, future amount, that is what's being asked, 3.05 million for the present word, 1 plus i. i is 4% raised to the power of 4. So, what is f? So, 3.05 million, 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to 4. So, the uh, equivalent future amount of this 3.05 million is 3,568,068.61 pesos. So that's the answer for number two. Let's go to problem number three. How much will be in a high yield account at the bank 12 years from now if you deposit 250,000 pesos now and 350,000 pesos five years from now? The account earns interest at a rate of 8% per year compounded quarterly. So there is uh, two deposits, 250,000 pesos now and three, 350,000 pesos five years from now. So the deposit happened. So this is year zero. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we will uh, continue that until 12 years. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we have 12. So it's asking for the amount 12 years from now. So there is a deposit of 250 thousand now and three fifty thousand five years from now so this is the uh, two hundred fifty thousand and this is the three hundred and fifty thousand pesos deposit single deposit so for the uh, So it's asking for the future amount, the future amount in 12 years. So from 350 up to 12 years, then we have here 250 and then 12 years. So what's the number of N? So F1 and then F2. So the number of N here, number of years is how many? It is 12 minus 5. 
that will be 7 years. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 years from the year 0 here, year 0 of 5. Now how about the other one? This is n is equal to 12 years. 12 minus uh, 0 here, so that is 12, obviously. So we can now solve for the future amount Ft. Ft is equal to F1 plus F2. So using the uh, formula for uh, compound interest, we have for F1, so 350k. So remember, this is compounded quarterly. So compounded quarterly. So this is 1 plus uh, 0 0.08 divided by 4 raised to n of 7 times 4 plus 250k. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4 raised to 12 times 4. So, what's the F total? Or that is, uh, say, F12. Future work. So, 350k, 1 plus 0 0.08 over 4 raised to the power of uh, 28 plus 250k times 1 plus 0 0.08 over 4 raised to 48 so 1 million 256,126.07 Okay, so one million two fifty six thousand one twenty six point zero seven. So that's the answer for problem number three. Now let's go to the last example number 4 in this video. So last example for this video. How much could a company afford to spend now on new equipment in lieu of spending 10 million pesos one year from now and 15 million pesos three years from now if the company uses an interest rate of 15% per year so we have uh, two uh, deposits here 10 million pesos and 15 million pesos so how do we treat this so the first one is one year from now and then the other one is three years from now so year zero one two three So this is one million, uh, 10 million, 10 million pesos. So it says here, how much could a company afford to spend now on new equipment in lieu of spending 1 million pesos one year from now? I see. So it says there one year from now. Instead of paying 10 million pesos one year from now, and 15 million pesos three years from now how much will they pay <clears throat> now so it's asking for the present cost <clears throat> p1 P2, number of years here is one year, 
number of years here is 3 years. So for the uh, P total, so from the formula F is equal to P1 plus I raised to N, P is equal to F over 1 plus I raised to N. So P at year 0 is equal to the F1. So our F1 here is uh, oh, P1 plus P2. So, P, year 0, is equal to F1 of 10 million pesos all over 1 plus I, what's our I? 15% per year. So, 0 0.15 raised to the power of 1 year plus P2. So, F2 here is 15 million all over 1 plus 0.15 raised to the power of 3. So, P at year 0 is now equal to 10 million, 1.15 plus 15 million, so 1.15 raised to 3. So, that will be 18 million, 558,000. 395.66 So instead of paying 10 million and 15 million in the future, they'll just have to pay here 18 million 558,395.66 So that's for number four okay, so that's all for this uh, video